In Titus 2, Paul uses an expression that is actually astonishing when you think about it. He says at one point that grace teaches us. Think about those words. Grace teaches us. And within our churches, we sing how grace has saved us, how God has demonstrated his grace in the death and the resurrection of Jesus. So we, we sing, by your grace, O Lord, and words to that effect. But here Paul uses the expression, grace teaches us. And that's a wonderful thought, that grace is not something that saves us. It also teaches us. But what does it teach then? I mean, w what is it? Well, grace teaches us how we should live a godly life, how we should become sound of mind. Now think of that. When Paul writes this to Titus, who is a teacher within the church, and tells the teacher that they are taught by grace, how will that affect the teachers within the church? Well, the first thing is when you know that grace is teaching you, then you know that whatever you are teaching is something that you haven't received yourself. You may think that you're very clever, you may think that you have discovered wonderful new insights in the world, but actually you have been taught by grace. It is no longer your own achievement. Then there is, when you are taught by grace, you know that, wait a minute, also the people who are listening to you will be taught by that same grace. I may be an instrument, but nothing more than an instrument. And rather than getting the self-promotion of the great teachers, the self-promotion of the big pastors, you actually get that sort of humility built in, in your awareness of how teaching within the Christian church should 